Hello everybody, this is Megraj and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. The charge is represented by capital Q. It is measured in coulombs and the formula for it is, actually it is, this is the formula for current. Current is equal to charge upon time. That is the rate of flow of charge is called current. So if we just do mathematical jugglery, we will get this formula. This formula is obtained by the mathematical jugglery of the formula of potential difference. That is V is equal to W by Q. The next formula is of the next physical quantity is potential difference. So the unit of potential difference is volt and its symbol is capital V and its formula is V is equal to W by Q by definition and V is equal to IR by Ohm's law. Current. Let's see. The symbol of current is capital I. The formula for current is I is equal to W by I is equal to Q upon T and I is equal to V upon R. This is derived from mathematical jugglery that is. It is not derived. It's just a mathematical jugglery of Ohm's law. Then its unit is ampere. Then the next physical quantity is resistance. Resistance is represented by capital R. It's formula is r is equal to v by i this is again a manipulation of the ohm's law and this is the derivation of the resistance that is resistance of a conductor that is r is equal to rho into l upon a where rho is the resistivity so the unit of resistance is ohm then the next physical quantity is resistivity so resistivity its symbol is rho its formula is just manipulated from this formula only. That is rho is equal to r into a upon l where r is resistance, a is area of cross section and l is length of the conductor. Then its unit is ohm meter whereas the unit of resistance was just ohm. Then comes the next physical quantity that is work done. So work done is represented by capital W. Its formula is W is equal to V into Q. This comes from the definition of potential difference only v is equal to w by q and the unit of work done is joules again the power yeah power is what the rate of doing work is called power so the symbol of power is capital p and there are four different formulas some of them are from the mathematical jugglery this is the only original formula by the definition you can say P is equal to w by t otherwise these all are derived from the different formulas some of them are derived from the Ohm's law. Then the unit of power is Watt. And now comes the last topic of the chapter that is electrical energy. That is the energy we use in our households. So that is the commercial unit of electric energy. That is kilowatt R. And the formula for that is uh, work done is equal to voltage into current into time. So dear friends, with that, we end today's lecture. Thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video. Thank you very much.